during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to answer the question, why does corn have brace roots? Ah, that's an interesting one. You know, when you look at cornfields, if you ever get a chance to walk into a cornfield, you see brace roots on the outside edge of the field, but when you get out into the middle of the field, sometimes you don't see any brace roots at all. And you may be wondering, well, what's going on? It's the same hybrid planted the same day with the same planter in the same field. Shouldn't there be similarities between the plants? Not necessarily, because one of the big functions of brace roots is to anchor that plant and to support it. Think about the outside edges of your fields. The wind is really gonna hit the outside few rows of your corn, where out in the middle, they're pretty protected by all those end rows that you've got. So the outside edge of the field generally has at least one set of brace roots, and many times even two or more sets of brace roots, just for that reason, to hold it up in the wind. So basically what we're saying here is brace roots are the result of stress. If the plant had no stress, it didn't have wind blowing against it, it was standing just perfectly without the brace roots, the brace roots would never form. Now, when we say stress, it could be anything, and one real common stress that we see is nutrients. If we don't have nutrients getting in through those lower roots on the plant, it's gonna try and put more roots out to try to get the water and the nutrients that it needs. So you see brace roots forming many times when something happened to the bottom roots on our plant. Maybe it's a disease that blocked them off, or maybe it's rootworm feeding or something that's not allowing nutrients to come in through the bottom of the plant. So when we've got those brace roots out in the middle of the field, that's one of the things that we're looking at that could be an issue. Now, here's the thing. Should a plant have brace roots or should it not? Can I get the most yield by having a plant with lots of brace roots or can I get the most yield if a plant had no brace roots? Honestly, I don't know the answer to that question because typically we see brace roots forming in all of our fields mainly because we have lots of wind. Our average wind speed in some of these months where the corn is growing is 15 miles an hour. That's the average wind speed. We commonly deal with 40, 50 mile an hour winds. There's going to be stress. I don't know how you get around that out in a field situation. Now, like Brian said, if you could just plant a corn plant and put it in a greenhouse, never have a puff of wind or a lack of water or nutrients throughout the season, you probably wouldn't need the brace roots, but in reality, you're going to see some brace roots out in fields, and it's going to vary from field to field and areas of fields to other areas and of fields. And let's hope that we need lots of brace roots just because we have such enormously huge ears on that plant that we're gonna have record yield. Well, that would be wonderful. <laughs> well, one way to get those record yields, Brian, is to stop our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 